Virtual reality is an exponentially expanding industry in today's world. It's currently audio and it's currently visual, but there's no sense of touch. That's what Hands Omni aims to do. We're a multidisciplinary team here at Rice University that is trying to bring the sense of touch into the world of video games. So our system's designed so that when you're walking around a world and you see um, an apple in a nice video game or a grenade in a, um, in a military video game and you want to pick it up, you can reach out and it actually feels like you're touching a physical object, even though it's all just images. Four. I remember experiencing the rumble of GoldenEye on the N64 over 15 years ago, and I see that same surprise reaction of people using the reactive grip. Through the reactive grip, I felt the weight of a shield, the kick of a gun, and something as subtle as a fish biting on the line. And I can't wait to see where the community takes us next. Our technology conveys motion and force information by moving sliding contactor bars that are built into the grip. By moving these bars, the reactive grip can give the sense of an object's weight or of an impact. By moving these bars in opposition, it creates the feeling that the handle is wrenching or twisting in the player's grasp. This lets the player feel a bending fishing pole, the suspension of a vehicle, the stretching of a slingshot, or a medieval flail. We call it reactive grip because we track a player's hand motions and then react to those motions, providing the feedback that they would expect if they were holding a real gun, sword, or a fishing pole. Three. I'd like to introduce you to the STEM system, a modular wireless motion tracking system that will set a new standard in 3D interface. When you're moving around in VR, you can't see anything outside of the virtual environment. So you need a wireless system so you don't get tangled up in yourself. You know, even doing this, that was something I, I really avoided doing with my regular hydrant because I don't want my base to fall. Station. Yeah, pull the base with it and be like, oh, oh no, what did I just do? The STEM supports up to five individual tracking modules that can be placed directly to the user's head, hand, or legs. As long as there's more tracking points and you can keep expanding the level of interactivity with your body. Previously simple interactions like climbing a ladder suddenly become this really tense and visceral experience. The STEM creates new possibilities for full motion control in VR. Not just walking, which we provide with the Omni, but also hand motions and independent gun track. So we can have people gesturing around as if they're waving a sword or they're, or they're swinging a bat or a tennis racket. The new modular approach being pioneered by Sixth Sense is exactly what we have been hoping for. It's going to enable us to extend gameplay over an unlimited range of different martial arts styles. The more immersive the experience is for players, the more dimensions you have and more tools you have as a game developer. Two. Hi, I'm Paul Yost, Chief of Research and Development at YI Technology, the developers of Prio VR. Prio VR provides full body motion sensing for gaming and virtual reality. Prio VR is an easy to wear suit featuring high accuracy sensors that provide real time tracking. Every movement you make translates one to one into the game with no cameras, no special setup, and an unlimited capture space. This means that with Prio VR, you can move any way you want with no lag and complete freedom for a natural experience. Whether you have one, two, or ten people, Prio VR lets them all easily play at the same time in the same space. One. Hi, my name is Tonjay Chakmat, and I want to bring virtual reality to the next level. I always loved playing video games and grew up with games like Quake, Doom and Duke Nukem. But just sitting in front of a keyboard and a mouse staring at a screen was not enough for me. So I began to think about a solution to walk inside of the game and started to build the first prototypes of the virtualizer in the workshop of my father. Nowadays head mounted displays like the Oculus Rift and Sony Morpheus allow you to enter virtual environments visually. But there is still the key problem of being unable to actually walk through virtual space which the virtualizers